This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. So I did a video called Nice Guys Who Get Women Avoid These Five Various Behaviors. Because I talk about like, you can be a nice guy, but avoid doing these things over here that will result in you losing women in spite of you being nice. And this guy said, or you could just stop trying to get women and just find one who doesn't give a crap about all this kind of modern day strategizing and just wants you and herself to be authentic. Let's talk about that. Let's put, let's talk about that. Okay. So first off, let's talk about where he says, um, this kind of modern day strategizing. The reality is that you as a guy going into dating without a strategy, it could work, but the probability is low. How do I know? Because guys come to my channel and watch my videos who have no plan. I give them plan. They go execute plan. They get women. But here's the thing I keep, I keep trying to tell you guys is that women are already strategizing. Women have been strategizing about how to get men since they were little. Assuming they had a mom that, you know, that, that knew the dating game or was popular in her day, they're already getting lessons about how to be a good wife, how to cook for your man, what, what shoes to wear on dates to make him not feel so uh, emasculated, you know, how to, how to laugh at a guy's jokes even if they're not funny. Like women of the two sexes have been strategizing longer and have been strategizing better. You are not going to ever, you are, sorry, not, I'm, I'm absolutes. You are rarely going to come across a woman in the dating game that doesn't have a, a map in her head of how this uh, dating interaction with you is going to go that's going to lead her to a relationship if you play your cards right. The problem is women are coming to the dating to the dating game with a set of rules of or, or a set of instructions on how this is going to work, and they're playing with men that have no instruction manual. And women can recognize the difference between a guy that doesn't have an instruction manual and is doing this thing by the seat of his pants and is sliding off the handle, doesn't know what he's doing, and a guy that is able to come in and be like, oh, he gets it. He knows not to text me all the time. He knows to be patient. He knows the kind of dates to ask me on, when to ask me on dates. He knows the right time to kiss me. He knows the things to bring up early on in the dating process versus later on. He knows what not to bring up. Oh, this guy's understanding. And guys that know how to strategize, women, feel better about dating because they feel safer and they feel like this guy is going to be able to protect them a lot longer. And so it seems to men that having any kind of strategy is manipulation and they equate manipulation with being a negative thing. In spite of the fact that I stress again, women have been strategizing against us for years. If you've ever gone on a date where a woman is just wearing like the most amazing smelling perfume she strategized that because I can assure you she doesn't smell like that every day. If you came on a date where a woman, you know, you met her online, she knows how you look and she thinks you're the hot stuff and she shows you, she shows on a date with you and she's magically, magically got her titties all popping up and she just doesn't know if they're there. Strategy. She strategized that outfit. She knew when she put that on that she was going to have the big old crease right here. And she said, and I want him to see it because I want him to start feeling things for me. It's strategy. Women are already doing strategy, which is why I don't feel bad about telling men they need to have a strategy. I was also a guy at one point that did not have any strategy. And guess how that went? Poorly. So to the first part, I don't feel bad about having strategy and you should not either because again, women are already doing it and they want the guys that they're dating to have a strategy. They just want you to have a strategy that's going to build this up in a positive light. Like you're thinking, if I strategize, she's gonna see this manipulation, but look at it, look at it like this. A woman wants you to take her on a date to have a good time. She wants you to manipulate the situation to where the end result that she has on this date is she has a good time. Women want you to manipulate their bodies. They want you to get them in the bedroom and know the button to press on her that's going to result in her having a really good time and darn near explode with orgasm. But a guy that has no strategy, guess what? He doesn't know how to do that. He's going to go into the bedroom and wing it. And I've heard too many stories from women of guys who go into the bedroom and wing it and are terrible, and those women will never date those guys again. So you got to ask yourself, has not having a strategy worked up to this point for you? If not, then consider that it could be that having a strategy is going to be the better strategy. So that's the first part. The second part is where he says, um, can you just find one who just wants you to be your authentic, to be authentic? Here's the other problem. What men and what women view as being an authentic dater could very well be two different things. So for example, 
a nice guy, if you're a nice, nice guy, your version of being an authentic person is reaching out to people to help them, even if they haven't asked you for it. It's saying nothing but nice things. You're not cursing around a person. It's, you know, volunteering yourself to reach out, to take a friend to the airport. This is all authentically who you are. And it's great. And in the dating phase, doing those things will turn women off. They'll make you, they'll make, because the, them, that's not authentic. And you know why it's not authentic? Because they're thinking, what have I done to earn this kind of attention? Now, guys will hear that and think, well, that's just because she went through toxic situations. She doesn't understand a good guy. No, 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 no. Women that, ha that ha came from healthy environments, that have dated healthily up to this point, they also have the understanding, I need to put in my part so that way we both are getting to know each other and we're both seeing why the other person is a valuable part of this, of, of potentially being in a relationship, right? And so most good women that have a good head on their shoulders that understand how dating works, they understand like, hey, you as a guy got a budget, you have your own time and energy into goals that you have. And so she's not trying to take too much away from that. You coming in and being your authentic self by giving too much of yourself, by volunteering these things to women, that's gonna feel inauthentic. So you gotta ask yourself a question. Are you going to wait around for a woman to come along that just automatically accepts, accepts that the way you're presenting things in this dating thing are completely authentic and she's going to like it? Or do you want to hedge your bets and say, you know what, even if that stuff is authentic to me, I have to have a level of understanding that on their end of things, it's going to be viewed in a different light than I expect. And they need time to build up the belief that they are are deserving of that behavior. So you know what? As much as I'm going to feel weird about holding back and therefore not feeling authentic, the reality is that's going to be a better strategy because I'm going to ultimately, it's just, here's the thing, dating is ultimately about two people giving the other person what they need to make this work. All right, it's not it's all, just all about you or her. So you're thinking, I need to be my 100% authentic self at all times if I'm not the blah, 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 blah. And the reality is if she doesn't need that, and more importantly, if it's going to make her feel weird for you doing it, then you got to look at what does she actually need? And you're giving her what she, what you think she should want. And if that's not going to work for her, she's going to feel like you're not being authentic and you're not listening to what she actually needs. You thinking, but I would always text all the time because I text my buddies all the time. She's not your buddy. She's the person you're trying to attract. And maybe the authentic part of her process is building up to where she hears from you all the time. If you're thinking, I should do that from Jump Street, you're going to lose out on a lot of women that would actually work well for you, except for you have an idea of what you're thinking, well, authentic dating looks like this to me, and she's thinking, but authentic looks like this to me, and you're in a rut. And of the two of you guys, sorry to say, she's all about feelings. If what she's feeling is that the actions you're doing are not authentic, even though you're saying that they are, you cannot negotiate to her that, but no, what, I, what I'm doing really is authentic. All she's going to hear is like, that's something that a liar would say. You know what? I'm out of here. So you have to understand that women need to start to, they, they need to have time to get evidence that the way that you're trying to be is how you actually are. And that comes over time. You trying to be all the authenticities on date one by doing all the things you would normally do in on a day-to-day -day in your real life. She doesn't want that. It'd be like, okay, your authentic self is you like to wear like a white t-shirt and shorts around the house. Are you showing up like that on a first date? You're probably not because that means a level of you understands that you have to put your best foot forward on these dates. Nobody on a date is their 100% authentic self. Women don't smell like that all the time. They don't dress like that all the time. They don't do their hair and makeup like that all the time. On a day-to-day -day in their house, they're in PJs with makeup off, with their hair in a bun somehow. You don't want her to show up on a date like that, right? So you understand on some level then that there's levels to what's authentic versus when are good times to present certain things and certain aspects as that other person gets to know this. And, and none of that is being inauthentic. But you need to get out of your head that if that women just need to come along and not have a strategy and, and just accept me for who I am. That is not the real world. Yeah, you, There might be like a, a microcosm of a woman that would handle that and, and be able to do that. But I found most women need to build up to being able to, to completely accept the totality authentic version of who you are. And I don't find it to be a bad thing. If you do, hey, you ain't got to listen to me. You came across my video randomly and said this crap. You could easily just say, I'm going to just wait. But how long is that going to take? Versus, hey, you know what? You can be, you can show levels of who you are and then know that there's other things that are going to come later. And you're still, you're, you're taking a woman on the journey of who your authentic self is versus trying to throw it out all at once and then not understanding why there's repercussions for that. So just that's just something I want you to consider.
Hey, from my, my non the life. Oh, I'm still watching your channel. I love your stuff. Uh, she says, we have been trained in, in looks maxing from like age two. So true. Like authentic, authenticity is a cop, is a, is a cope a lot of times. Yeah. And I think that again, you know, cause there's this whole thing, this idea of like who you are, it changes depending on the situation. Like, okay, in my dating life, I'm going to be, I'm for better, for worse, I'm going to be acting one way. The way I act on a date is not the way I'm going to act at my job. And yet, I don't think those two different people are inauthentic at all. It's understanding that you're going to adapt to the situation that you're in based on the environment that you're in. And as, as humans, we do that all the time. You know, if I'm in traffic, I like I like singing songs. I can dance in my apartment, but if I'm trying to dance in my car, I could cause a wreck. But my authentic self is I like to dance when I hear music. That's going to cause a wreck. So I, I think sometimes men have this the, the, like. It's just like, I feel like both men and women play stupid at times. I think in this case, men play stupid to the idea that they don't understand, well, I don't want to be a different person. That's going to be inauthentic. But you know, you do that. You know, you know, if you curse in front of your buddies, but you can't curse in front of your mom, you're not being inauthentic in either situation. You're just understanding your environment and adjusting accordingly. That's what I'm trying to get men to get.